Hi guys. I'm wondering if this is illegal. You know, obviously you want to cover yourself and make sure that you're involved with something that's legal. I don't blame you at all. Uh, it's funny how many times I get this question all the time. But let me explain this to you. Okay, there's two governing bodies that deal with this type of business. Okay, and they're both federal. Okay, now the first one is the FCC. They're the uh, communications guy. Okay, so let's go to their site and see what they have to say. Um, many consumers find unwanted texts and emails, which can include commercial messages such as spam, annoying and time consuming. And unwanted texts to mobile phones and other mobile devices can be intrusive and costly. Two laws the Telephone Communication or Consumer Protection Act and the Controlling the Assault of Non Solicited Pornography and Marketing, the CAN SPAM Act. I hate spam. I get it all the time. I, I just can't stand it. But that's why I'm so glad this is in effect for this business because nobody wants to get a bunch of spam on their text messaging. And you'll notice that you don't. Okay? You very, very, very rarely get spam on a text message. Okay? And here's why uh, the rules ban many texts sent to a mobile phone using an auto dialer. These texts are banned unless. Number one, you previously gave consent to receive the message. Or number two, the message is sent for emergency purposes. And the FCC, which I'm really glad, is very, very serious about this. Okay? Now, obviously, we don't fall under this category, the no message, the message is sent for emergency purposes. But we do fall under this one. You have previously given consent to receive the message. Okay? That's why when people opt in, when they text the word, they have to opt in to the list. Okay, now we get a lot of pizza places that sign up and they want to upload their list of phone numbers because most pizza places track by the phone number. So when you call in, because most people have their cell phones, the, when you call in from the pizza place, they know your address and everything like that, you know, if you've ordered that from them before. Okay, a lot of them want to upload, but we don't even allow them to do it. We have no feature to do it because, you know, we want to comply with the FCC obviously. Um, even though, you know, some of the pizza places, uh, I'm sure they would love to receive the offers, but they haven't opted in, so that's what we, that's, we just don't do it, okay? Now, the other governing body on this is the FTC. They basically protect the consumer, okay? And the question I get a lot is, is this a pyramid scheme, okay? Now, let's look at this. Now, a pyramid scheme and network marketing are completely different. A pyramid scheme can be defined as a fraudulent money-making scheme that is based on a non-sustainable business model that involves the exchange of money primarily for enrolling other people into the scheme without a legitimate product or service being delivered. Eventually, the number of new recruits fails to sustain the payment structure and the scheme collapses with most people losing the money they paid in. In a more practical sense, probably the easiest way to identify pyramid schemes is firstly there is no legitimate product or service involved i.e. you do not get a legitimate product in return for your initial investment the second way to identify pyramid schemes is that you do not get a financial return unless you have successfully introduced a number of new recruits into the pyramid okay now let's look at network marketing now the concept behind network marketing is a distribution model that allows a company to sell their products directly to the consumer now our consumer is the the pizza joint, the you know the the hamburger place, you know the nail salon, the the hair salon, all of that. They're our customers. Okay. Now choosing to use a word of mouth approach, networking, instead of advertising through traditional streams. Okay. Now therefore, instead of paying the media for advertising, network marketing companies are structured to reward distributors through commission in return for selling their products and finding new customers. Okay, that's what you guys are, MMRs. You are basically resellers of text messaging. Okay, so we're selling outside of our network, like the pizza joint and, and the hamburger place and all that. They're not involved in our distribution. Okay, they're the end user. So most companies are set up where, you know, there's a manufacturer, there's a wholesaler, there's a distributor, there's a retailer. 
and then there's the end user. Okay, and they all make money along the way. So instead of that, you are the reseller to the end user, which is the business. Okay, it's a completely legitimate setup. It allows you to leverage your distribution. Okay, that's why it works so well. And it offers you, you know, a residual stream of income. Okay, you also see that uh, on here, it allows you to leverage the efforts of others to create a residual stream of income. Okay, so basically, you don't have to worry about this being legal. It's completely legal. You can look into it yourself, but those are the, the two areas that this business is involved in, the FCC and the FTC. If you want, do some more research yourself, but that that is fact. Okay, so don't worry about that. Just move on and uh, let's get you going, okay?